Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today we are in Springfield, Missouri and I was told to come and eat at Van Gogh's. Now Van Gogh's is a Danish restaurant and according to the person that I talked to, it's going to be the perfect meal for us while here in Springfield. So here we go. Guys, as you can see here, we're going to be transported with our meal today. And that's what was the most appealing to me when this was suggested to me, is being able to eat something a little bit different than we might be used to on the channel. So here we go, let's open it up and see what all we have inside. Now there are two different menus here. This is of course the beverage menu, but then we have this menu right here, which has all of the yummy goodness. Now this right here is exactly why we're here. I was told that we needed to try the Dutch pancakes. Um, they're basically like a skinny pancake, not quite a crepe, <laughs> but kind of like a crepe. And you can get them filled with all sorts of amazingness. So for example, we could do something called the forest gnome which is a mushroom apple honey walnut and arugula or we could go down here to the white tower which is chicken and wilted greens lemon garlic bechamel pesto cheese and arugula so this is what I was suggested to definitely try while here so question is which one do we want as you can see it has been a long day in my life we look insane. We got rained on today, the wind was blowing, it was cold, and then it was warm. It's been a long day, so I'm starving, and I don't know what sounds best. Everything sounds so good, and they have both savory and sweet options also. So I kind of want to go with something that's going to be a savory option, and then maybe add something to it that's going to be sweet toward the end. So it's time now for us to make those tough choices. This is the hardest part, guys. The options were just too vast. I mean, goat cheese and spicy shrimp and chicken and ham and mushrooms and pineapple, it just goes on and on. So I asked the server what his favorite was and he suggested the Aruba. The Aruba has jerk seasoned peppers, onions, brandied raisins, a pineapple, and um, also this banana and cheese. So it's gonna have a lot of different flavors to it that sound absolutely delicious. And I think that that might leave us a little bit of room so that we can add to it a dessert in a moment. Now something kind of fun that I'm already noticing is the theming here. There are little wooden shoes and there are tulips everywhere. And although we are here in Springfield, Missouri, it slightly feels like we are taking a departure, a trip of sorts to another place. And I really like that. So I am definitely happy that I came in today already. Now, what is this food gonna be like? I have no idea, I'm so excited, and I'm probably more excited about this than any other meal on this particular trip, because, you know, I haven't been getting outside of my box too much when it comes to my meals. I've been going to a lot of diners and showing you guys all sorts of cool diner food, but this is completely different than anything else. Our plate just arrived, and look at this. Oh my goodness. Wow, you can see those peppers there, and then the onions, the little bananas. Oh, wow, this just looks so delicious. Before we dig into this, let's talk about the pancake itself. This is a nice, skinny pancake, but it does have more substance to it than a crepe does. So while it is very similar, it is also very different. It's nice and sturdy, as you can see. And it has been cooked to what looks like perfection. Oh my goodness, that looks just so good. Now we're gonna try it with and without the syrup, which is on the side here. But let's talk about these toppings a little bit more in detail first. 
I for one am super excited because I had no idea it was going to be quite this large. This may go against our getting something sweet later, but it looks so good and wow, the smell of this is just inviting me in to just it's so good guys. Um, I'm really excited about talking to you about the flavor once I bite into this for the first time because if it tastes even half as good as it smells, which I'm assuming it will taste even better, that it's just going to be an explosion of flavors just kind of melting in my mouth. Okay, right here as we're kind of digging into dissect it a little bit you can see that just like the flavor is coating everything and we could get a perfect bite probably out of this um, let's get a little bit of the pepper here right there Ooh, the stringiness of the cheese is awesome get a little onion in here look at this bite though this is going to be so good guys but um, before we forget, let's let's grab a banana just for good measure. So this is what we're looking at right here as our perfect bite, as you can see. Has a little bit of everything on there. Now I'm sure I could just roll this up and dig into it like it's a burrito, but that wouldn't do it justice. Oh wow. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. So the pepper is cooked just enough, but it still has a little bit of that crunchiness, but not too much. It's nice and soft on the inside, a little crunchy on the outside. The seasoning has a little bit of the sweetness, a little bit of the spice. So, so good. And you get that little kick of the onion once you bite in, and that just makes everything come together. The banana being that little sogginess at the end there that a banana is, everybody knows what a banana texture is, actually adds to it, almost giving it like a, a nice finish that cleanses your palate as you eat, which is really, really a cool concept. And I don't think I've eaten anything that's quite like this before. So as I continue to chow down, piece by piece now, there's a little bit of ham. The pineapple. Mm-hmm. Each individual piece of this, it's really unique because the jerk seasoning, how it affects each piece of this is so different. And then whenever, again, you eat it, it all kind of comes together. It's so good. Now let's see what happens when we add a little bit of syrup. Just a little bit on this side. Here we go. But now that we've tried out a lot of different flavors themselves, let's see how it tastes with the pancake. This is what I've been most excited about, seeing how this yummy little piece right here works out. Now, I've noticed that the outer edge of the pancake is a little bit more firm than the inner circle of it. So as we get closer and closer to the center, it's it a little bit more soft. is rapidly turning into a napkin situation but I can't turn away it's just so good and every bite it just seems to get more and more powerful with that seasoning and the yumminess it's like when it sits it just kind of gets more and more delicious and now I'm starting to find the little raisins also mm. so we have gotten to the point in the meal where I was so excited about dessert and yet we're boxing up a little bit. Okay, there it is, guys. Yeah. That's how much we're taking with us for later. It's a nice little amount. A medium-sized container there. And as you can see, our meal today was $10.99, after tax $11.94, so not too bad. This was a substantial amount of food and super delicious.